the whole hookup thing with Georgie just happened randomly. He was in town. We met up. It was right after the Cicero thing. And I just felt very vulnerable and lonely. Okay. So let me get this straight. The man that you have portrayed as the enemy pretty much this whole season. The man that you made abundantly clear you didn't want nothing to do with. So much that when he did reappear, you went absolutely berserk about it. But because he was in town and you was vulnerable, you decided to take him up on his offer and meet him out for a cup of drinks. And then one thing led to another because you was vulnerable. I mean, listen, man, I don't know if vulnerable people will go out and meet someone that they don't like anymore. Someone that they have not even any positive things about. But uh, if this is what Das is telling us about why she hooked up with Georgie. <laughs> I mean, listen, <laughs> she needs to learn to control herself. Mm -hmm. I feel upset that this hookup for Darcy don't mean anything. I kind of feel in a way used because if I want to hook up, I can go hook up with. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Let, let's just stop it right there. There is no way, no way you're telling me that my man here feels used. He's saying he feels used. Bro, you're the one that, from what I understand, actually invited Darcy out for the drink. And not only did you invite her for the drink, but at the same time, you're the one that's made it abundantly clear that you want Darcy back. So if Darcy's going to take any opportunity to sleep with you, are you going to say no? No. You're going to say yes. Because you're hoping that by sleeping with her, she's going to want you back. And you're also hoping that her sleeping with you is a sign that she wants you back. But in reality, she's, you can't say that she used you because you wanted it way much more than she did. You was, you were trying to use this opportunity to get her back. It backfired, and now you want to play victim. Huh. In this situation right here, none of you are victims. Both of you are just as bad as each other. And that is just the bottom line. But anyway, we continue with this madness could come to the wedding in Connecticut. But it's your decision in the end, you know, it's... Darcy. I would okay. love to, Darcy. Oh. All right, boom, bam. Let's talk about this real quick. First and foremost, the wedding that, uh, that, that, that Stacey and Florin is having in Miami is now being moved to Connecticut. Reason being is because, sadly, their dad, um, their dad fell poorly because he had a stroke. Busy had a stroke, she obviously wants her dad to be at the wedding because she wants him and needs him to walk her down the aisle like any daughter what, what wants, right? Who has a good relationship with her father. Therefore, they've now decided to move the wedding to Connecticut. Now, as you can see, state is really bloody. But in this situation, as you can see, Darcy is, uh, is now obviously back on a date with her, with her, you know, with this new guy. And as you can see, she has asked him to come to the wedding. He has accepted. It's crazy though, because she does go on to tell him that, um, my ex George will actually be at the wedding too. I hope that's okay and I hope you're still going to come. He has said, listen, I'm coming. Don't worry, we're all good. I mean, to be honest with you, Darcy knows that this is going to go sideways. She knows things are going to pop off, to be honest with you. And um, she has warned him about this, about this as well. But he said, listen, man, I'm, I'm going to do me and mind my own business. I think it's good that obviously if you're talking to someone, you know, and you're trying to move on, you do take them to an event. But when there's going to be drama, You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, she has every right to bring him because at the end of the day, you can't stop someone else's sensitive feelings from ruining you trying to move on with someone else. And so yeah, so therefore, you know, I 100% do back the, the situation. But Darcy hasn't exactly made it any easier because she obviously slept with Georgie and Georgie's obviously hanging on to that like there's no tomorrow. But we continue. And then it's going to be over. I don't know. I think you, you got to tell him. I know honesty is best policy, so. So Darcy has told her friend that um, she has slept with Georgie. And obviously her friend who obviously hooked her up with Zach is now saying, listen, you got to tell Zach because at the end of the day, if you don't tell Zach and then he turns up at the wedding and then Georgie starts talking about it at the wedding, it's going to look good. Now, despite the fact that they, do, they did sleep together before Darcy even met Zach, either way, though, it's good for him to know what he's about to walk into. But to be honest with you, I definitely agree with a friend who obviously makes abundantly clear that, hey, man, if I was you, I would tell him because uh, at least he's going to, at least he won't feel blindsided. Because if he feels blindsided, well, you're not going to have any man, you're not going to have this man in your life anymore. And then you're back looking for another man again. But let's keep it 100, though. They're not going to last anyway because Darcy always finds a way to mess, to mess things up. So in reality, she's going to end up on her own anyway. 
that was such a heartless thing to say. But uh, when the truth is the truth, the truth is the truth. Mm -hmm. Efficient, but really, it's like therapy. Stacy, no, I don't like to go left therapy. And basically, Stacy tricked me. So, Stacy has tricked Florin into going to see a therapist, a couple's therapist. And this is where they are right now. And uh, Florin is definitely not happy about uh, being here right now at this moment in time. And listen, nobody wants to be tricked, so I can't necessarily blame him. But so far, Stacy has asked a simple question of, well, the therapist has asked a simple question of, let's talk about your communication. Stacy's come out and said, listen, man, the communication isn't good. This man is always shouting at me, trying to control me. And I just don't know why, because when he met me, I was this way and I'm still this way. So I don't know why he wants to change me now. Robin says, I see no issue. I see no issue. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. Limit. You go over limit, you're going to ruin everything, basically. So, Stacey's talking about the fact that when she was on the party bus, she was unable to actually have any, have any fun. You know, she was unable to actually dance, go on a stripper pole, didn't really do anything exciting whatsoever. And obviously he's saying at the end of the day, when there's fun, there's always a limit. If you go over the limit, well then you're in everything. So I'm assuming that he means that if you go over the limit, then we are over. I mean, that's the only thing that I was reading out of the situation. But to be fair though, what Stacey says next, ah, yeah, this one was nice. But it's okay for you to go over the limit. You know, for him to sit here and act like he's innocent, it's no, no, not fair. I'm not yet wrong, that is the problem. So what if I don't? It's, it's crazy though because you know um <laughs> he's clueless of what's what's to come next you know obviously as stacy goes on a, on a whole uh, um um rant i never i never say in my life i, I pay the bills i never i do everything and boom bam that is exactly where we at that is the key point right there stacy's like listen man i pay the bills so you can't be telling me about the limit of my own fun Definitely can't be threatening me about things go wrong neither because you're not saying because I pay the bills. Oh man. You need to understand something I don't like and no repeat. It seems you could do whatever you want to do, but I can't do anything. To be honest with you, it's the moment when <laughs> Florin comes in with just one hell of a statement. When he said this, I was like, boy, are you okay? My house have my rules. Can somebody tell me where is Florin's house? I don't see him paying for any house. So where is his house with these rules? I mean, I hate to say it though, man, but end of the day, you know, if you're not the one really paying anything and you're living rent free in someone else's place, you haven't really got a choice, but to, uh, you know, pretty much abide by their rules, to be honest with you, to a certain degree, to a respectful degree. It is what it is, and you definitely can't step out of bounds disrespectfully because that person is the one that's looking after you. I mean, especially when the person is the reason why you're in America, or the reason why you're on, why why you got a green card, <laughs> the reason why you got a work permit that you don't even use, and the reason why you're living life just chilling with no job, no nothing. And he wants to be disrespectful. They don't make people like Florin. Actually, no, they they they, they do don't they? Yeah. It's just bizarre to me because Stacy still wants to go off and have this uh, renewal, these, these wedding renewals, whatever. She'd be looking to get a bloody divorce, but hmm. I admit, I admit, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, boom, done. I treat her like, like a queen, basically. For what I'm telling you, you deserve. Personally, me, myself in particular, I think he's being sarcastic because what's happened is that he is here is that the therapist has said to him, listen, man, sometimes it's not about what you're saying, it's that how you're saying it. He's now saying, okay, I'm wrong, maybe the way I say things isn't correct. I can say things better. But it's just the tone he uses, the energy he uses, his body language, it just screams sarcasm. But at the same time though, this is who he is normally, so probably he was being serious. But um, the question is though, is he just saying it now? And then later on he's gonna go back to being however he's been this whole time and that's been hella difficult? Well, then that's the question, is it, for next week? But either way though, you guys let me know exactly what you're thinking down below. And uh, most importantly, do you think it's a good idea for Darcy to bring her new man, or not, not really a new man, but the man that she's hoping to be her new man, to the wedding, given the fact that George is going to be there, and given the fact that, of course, George still has hope? I mean, for me personally, I still stand by what I said. I think if Darcy's serious about moving on, then 100% bring him along, why not? It's, it's a good time for them to build memories, but obviously it's going to be a bit of a sticky one. Yeah.
I mean, I would turn up regardless. Actually, no, no, I wouldn't turn up to be fair. I could be bothered with the hassle. Actually, I would turn up, but then I'd be like, ah, this guy, ah. I would, I would let you guys decide what, 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 what you think is the best thing, you know what I mean? But nonetheless, though, man, Darcy was definitely wrong for hooking up with Georgie, and Georgie was also wrong for hooking up with Darcy, too, anyway. But point blank, period. Thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to like, sub, and of course, peace.